Hey, don't click away. Today I will be showing you how to use the Sans laminating mold on Samsung screens. With some ISO 99. Always make sure to clean the glass. There's little particles in every little area. So you wanna make sure this is nice and clean. Just give it a little turn. And I'm peeking inside where the camera punches are at to make sure that this OLED is square on center. Once you feel that it's good, you just wanna walk it down with your right hand, and then we just give one press in the middle. Boom. Well, you can see, let me show you how I have that aligned. You see that? So it's running. So right now, for the first 30 seconds, you have that vacuum sucking all the air out of the chamber. After those 30 seconds is up, it switches gears and it blows air into it and creates a laminator, thus popping up the airbag, which you'll see here. There we go, 0.7. We'll wait and then we will come back in 13 minutes to check this out. But in the meantime, I do have a couple more screens. All right, so we want to clean, 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 clean. This little dust cleaner works great. I'm, overall, I'm happy with it. Look how clean that is. Oh, clean the glass once again. Now I'll do this method with it face down so I can show you this other way of doing it. Open it up, and we're gonna keep the same settings. That's the best part about this, you know? So we'll set this here, latch it down, and we will begin. All right, so the laminating has begun. While this one cooks in the autoclave for 30 minutes, let's do our Note 10. All right, so you'll notice this one does have an S Pen Flex up on top. Me, personally, I like to tape this flex down on the bottom. That way you don't have it bowing and pressing up on the foam pad. When you tape it down, it sits nice and flat onto the OLED. And we wait. So we'll let this run. I'm gonna cut right here and we'll return back after the laminating process has finished. All right, laminating has finished. Bubble free and like I said, dust free thanks to the Refox DF40. So that's gonna wrap up my video guys. I really hope you guys got some useful information on chairs.